How did you have to die? I was out of control. Right, Marjorie and I have been talking and we think we found the perfect person to be the new deputy here. Wait, what do you mean you've hired someone and they're arriving today? Dad, you can't just drop that on me, okay? I've already said I found the perfect person for the job. Fine, whatever. Sorry about that, can I help you? I don't know, can you? Can I help you? You do not recognize me, do you? Should I? I should think so, we did go to school together. Delia. That's right. God, I've seen you in ages. Um, you here to enrol someone? No, I'm your new deputy. Wait, my my dad hired you? Yeah, our dad still play gold together all these years later. So when he heard that I was at a loose end, he hired me. Wait, you're my new deputy? I certainly am. And judging from the phone call earlier, you're not too happy about it. Oh no, no, it's nothing against you. It's just. Marjorie and myself really wanted to see a friend of ours get the role. Oh, what friend? You don't know her. Um, her name's Shah. She's been working really hard. She deserves it. Oh, I'm so sorry to take that away from her. But, you know, you've got me and we already know each other. So that gets rid of any awkwardness. Ah, uh, sure. No awkwardness at all. Um, one tiny little thing, though. One of the board members is Mia. Is she now? Yeah. And do the board come to the nurseries quite often? No, the board don't. However, Shah, that staff member we were talking about earlier, mm -hmm. well, she's actually in a relationship with Mia and it's because of her that Mia does pop in from time to time. Oh, she's... she's in a relationship, is she? Yeah. That's great for her. I'm so happy. Yeah, you look really happy. <laughs> so when can we expect a visit from... Mia? Well, Shara, she works at the other nursery, so Mia won't be popping into this one anytime soon. Oh, well, that's just... Dandy. I'll go and introduce myself to all the other staff members. Get myself acquainted. Oh god, dangerous Delia. That's all we needed. Winter! Oh, morning Geraldine. I hear that Autumn's over at the sister nursery today. <laughs> she is, isn't she? Yes, yes, she is over there right now. So you can go ahead and unclench. <laughs> well, she did give me... Quite the earful uh, when I bumped into you both at the restaurant. Mm. She was magnificent that night. Well, I hear congratulations are in order. I hear you two finally tied the knot. Ah, uh, thank you. Yes, yes, we did. We did. Oh, but I hear it was only an elopement. Yes, it was only an elopement. Neither of us wanted the spectacle of a, a big wedding. That's not us. Oh, so she didn't get to wear the beautiful big white gown? Regardless of how the ha wedding had happened, she was never going to be caught dressed in a white gown. No, she wore a beautiful, elegant, simple black dress and she looked perfect. Black? Oh, okay. And I'm guessing because you eloped, you didn't have many guests? No, thank God. Myself, my wife, a few musicians and uh, the officiant. Oh, so she didn't get to... Throw the bouquet over her head. Much like the white dress scenario, even if there had been guests, she was more likely to beat somebody over the head with a bouquet rather than throw it over her own. Okay. <laughs> uh, so no bouquet. I'm guessing no cake? No, she had a bouquet. She picked some beautiful dark wildflowers from the woodland where we got married and uh, truthfully, we're not really cake people. Oh, that's a shame. I remember on my big day, we did the whole cut the cake and smush it in each other's face. How romantic. I'm so sad we didn't get to do that. 
<laughs> so this is kind of like just like a, a, a dry run you're gonna do like a proper big wedding and invite everyone to see no no that was our wedding oh oh that's such a shame for you both just to have that as your big day that that's your memory i am sorry hello darling <sighs> my mistake i could have sworn i saw my wife oh okay well anyway um i was obviously just dropping off my little one um but yes like i said um congratulations thank you and uh you know i i hope you both have a very happy marriage i mean obviously they say a wedding is kind of like you know the start of that and yours was not spectacular but i'm sure your marriage will be remind me geraldine having had the big lavish wedding that you had how's your marriage we are going through a rough patch, but we are both working through it. I hear he's working his way through a lot of other women too. Darling, what's the emergency? Oh! Hi! Hello! Sorry, I was actually just looking for Reese. Oh! Reese just stepped outside to make a phone call. Reese? Yeah, the tall blonde guy. Yeah, no, no, I know who we're talking about. I'm just a bit confused as to why you're calling him Reesey. That was what everyone called him in school. School? Mm-hmm. What a pretty necklace. Does the R stand for Reesey? Yeah, yeah, it does. Ah, oh, another happy couple. <laughs> Next thing you know, you'll be telling me Autumn's dating somebody at the nursery too. She has just married one of the staff at the other nursery yeah oh. why does everyone date each other here i don't know i'm sorry who are you oh <sighs> that'll be reesey calling to tell you who i am i'm guessing that's why you stepped out hello darling <laughs> Thought so. no i'm actually in your office and i'm with delia delia the new deputy manager the new what? Surprise. Darling, a text would have been nice. I could have been a bit blindsided here. What do you mean don't look directly in her eyes? Right, how long are you going to be? I didn't realise you'd started to make your way to my nursery. All right, I'll see you in five. Okay, love you too. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's hard to spill the tea when the tea stood here in the room, right? No, 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 this is just a, a, that was a business conversation, you know, like, we, we thought we'd found somebody for this role, but obviously you're here. Sorry, I'm, I'm still trying to catch up, so you're Delia, the new deputy. Yes. Right, and uh, you, you went to school with Reese. Cranford Private School. It's where I met the love of my life. Oh, right, oh, you're not crazy ex of Reese, is it? Sorry, that's where my mind went. Oh, okay, oh, well, that's... That's lovely to hear you met the love of your life. So are you, are you married then? Not yet, but I intend to as soon as she realises that I'm the love of her life too. Sorry? She was in a relationship with the wrong guy for years, but now she's out of it. I know it's only a matter of time before the two of us come together. Sorry, who, who do you think is the love of your life? Mia! Well, that's not good. <laughs>